Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. SpaceX safely returned four astronauts from the International Space Station to Earth yesterday, making the first U.S. crew nighttime splashdown since 1968. NASA said the Crew Dragon capsule of SpaceX parachuted into the Gulf of Mexico off of Florida at 3 a.m. Sunday local time. And this marks the company's second return of a crew since the return of two NASA astronauts last August. The National Police Agency chief ordered strict punishment for the sending of anti-North Korea propaganda leaflets to the North through swift and thorough investigation. Fighters for a free North Korea claimed they used 10 mega balloons to send 500,000 leaflets, 500 booklets, and 5,000 $1 bills last week from Gyeonggi and Gangwon provinces near the demilitarized zone. Sending of leaflets is subject to a prison sentence of no more than three years or a fine of no more than 30 million won under the Development of Inter-Korean Relations Act that took effect on March 30th. Acting Prime Minister and Minister of Economy and Finance Hong Nam-gi debunked a rumor about Pfizer coronavirus vaccines at a central disaster and safety management headquarters meeting yesterday and said 5 million doses of the vaccine will be brought in by June with incremental shipments coming in every week for the next two months. The government previously announced that it secured 192 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines and will complete the vaccination of 12 million people in the first half of the year. Acting PM Hong reiterated the plan is on track, adding the government is making efforts to push up the delivery timeline. Finally, the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport revealed yesterday that in an effort to kickstart their smart signal operation system, some 2,000 smart signals will be installed across the country. Part of these signals' purpose is to automatically detect emergency vehicles such as ambulances or fire trucks in their lane and give appropriate signals so that they do not miss their golden time. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we take a look at the CDC's new set of guidelines on masks for the vaccinated population in the U.S., as well as get some expert analysis on South Korea's current COVID-19 situation.